Bikini Bottoms, how are y'all doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Widow's Wardrobe Wineback. To kick things off, this week's challenge for our Drag Survivor contestants was glitz and glamour. Glam. Ooh. I'm ready to see some expensive shit. Like, this is supposed to be very, like, what we're wearing. Very glitzy, very glamorous. Love. Right. So me and Jaharia, we're serving you glitz and glam too since the kitties, the girls, the boys, the aliens. It's 2018 with gender anymore. So we're here to stunning or bootleg them. So let's jump right into the looks. All right. Who's first? Mm -hmm. All right. First up, we have Alex Dior. I'm not mad at this, actually. I like it. Um, it was it worked with his performance. He yeah. turned a lot. It's very flowy. I like it. I like it too. Um, I like his makeup. It looks like he's wearing some like his his mug looks cute. Um, yeah. I mean, he just looks nice. Yeah, it's it's stunning. I'm not obsessed with it. I feel like the per I hope I feel like the performances. I hope they don't start to like run together, like the looks and the performances. Yeah, I'm I only think, but he looks stunned, so. Uh, yeah, what she said, stun, half a word. Not a yeah. full stunning. Not a full stunning, just a stun. Yeah. But it's good, it's not bad, it's not bootleg. It's not bootleg. Okay, our next contestant is Gavino, and he is serving us some red ooh, firecracker. Yes, okay. This look, I will say, I love everything from like the chest up. I love the headpiece, I love the nails, and I, he, it's, there's a clear theme, the, mm -hmm. the makeup looks good. Um, the judges touched on it, the only thing I'd like to see out of this is maybe a cinch, like either pads or a cinch, one or the other or both, just so it um, flows more since the outfit is so body conscious and tight and it appears to be more of a female outfit, mm -hmm. female illusion, so I would just say maybe a little bit more body, yada, yada. But um, it's stunning to me. Um, it is glam. The nails are fierce. I want a pair of those. So, right. I agree. I like the bottom though. I like the boots. The boots mm. kind of tie it all together. Well, yeah. The boots are cute too. I meant more of. I was trying the to say the panty like, area. Yeah, like the waist. It area. does just kind of give up a little bit because it's like really extravagant. Right. Meh. Well, and then these, you know, bomb ass boots. Yeah, because men. I, I'm not a man, so I don't know. But you know, men were they're like shaped like upside down triangles. So it's all about getting that bottom proportion. With Right. You know? I'm not mad at it though, it's nope. stunning. Stunning. Up next we have Virtual Boy. You go first. I, okay, so I was nervous for what he was gonna do. I feel like he's always pretty creative. I think the look is stunning in my opinion. Um, the gold flakes look really awesome. It's cohesive. There's a theme. He, I know that he makes all his own stuff, so that's really awesome as well. And um, the look went with the song, which I thought was pretty cool too. So I think he looks stunning. He's got those nail things too, so yeah, it's stunning for me. Oh, I had those. I threw them into the crowd, episode one. <laughs> Real life. Um, I don't know. First look, I want to like it. Seeing it in person, I really wanted to like it. I think I like it, but as I keep looking at this, I find smaller things that I'm not really a fan of. As in? Let's bring it closer. <laughs> I don't like the fit of this bodysuit. So zoom. Right, I don't like the fit of the bodysuit really. True. I also want more here. He has this big pendant here, which is, it's wonderful, but I need, I don't know, I just want a little more, which is weird me saying that for fucking virtual boys. I want more, but it's, it's just super dark for me when I think like glitz and glam, I think like very girly, very pretty, very, you know. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Um, but I guess this is his aesthetic. Let me let me remember. Yeah. Aesthetic wise, it fits. You know, I'm gonna stop talking. Stunning. I'll be just That's stunning. two bootlegs in a week from you for him. No, -uh, I said stunning. Last week? No, this one. Oh, oh, this one's stunning. A stunning. Okay, okay. Stunning. <laughs> Let's go to our next contestant. <laughs> okay, next we have Brett, Shy, and. Ooh, let me go first. Let me go first. Okay. Bitch, you look wonderful. His face is everything. You look bomb. Um, Let's get a zoom. Huh? Right, hello. She shaved the beard too. She came to play, bitch. Not gonna lie, a little depressed about it. I like the beard, but hey, you know, do what you want, though. So, what is your... I... I need her to take that off. And then it's stunning. Oh, the, the corset and the eyes. 
oh, that was, was my favorite part of the uh, the entire outfit, and I like the jacket. Yeah, there was tearaways to this look. Yeah, so ignore she, the first tearaway. Very, it's cute, very but I don't Monique need it. Hart tearaway. You know how she mm -hmm. had like her little yeah, something yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, similar like that. that. But um, yeah, no, I will say I was super proud of Brett with this look. I. It's very visually appealing, and I think it's very much what like um, his peers wanted, like one want, were wanting to see for this challenge. I think mm -hmm. he definitely did a good job being on on theme, but he still looks like Brett. Um, very gorgeous, very flawless. Um, I'm gonna say stunning. Stunning as well. Up next we have Mia Moore. I love saying. That. Yes. Okay. The performance was everything. When I look at this look. I mean, it is glitz and glam. It's cute. I like the look and it fit the performance, but it yeah. is not giving me the challenge. Yeah, I don't know. I like it, but also, like, I don't know how I feel. I don't know. I just feel like it's, I don't know, very arts and crafty. But she does look stunning. The wig kind of looks dry. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she looks stunning. Okay. I don't agree. I don't think it looks arts and crafty at all. I actually really like it. I am going to bootleg it, though. Um, I'm not mad at it. I like the jacket, um, the hair. It all worked. But for the challenge, I'm not into it. For the challenge at hand. Glitz and glam, it's a bootleg. Anything else? Probably get a stunning for me. But it's not really giving me the glam that I need for the challenge. Yeah, no, I could see that. Um, I, yeah, okay. Mine's just a stun, actually. Because, I mean, it's not jaw-dropping, so... Our contestant is Ruby Sanchez Herrera. Before she went on, I saw the mug, I saw the look, I said, you look fucking good. She told me that she was going for like Prince, uh, um, what is it, toddlers and tiaras? Yeah. Amazing. Um, everything's good, I know she makes her costume, so this, I, I think it's stunning as hell. Stunning! Yeah, no girl, I have no read for this whatsoever. Completely stunning, I'm very into this. And that face, that body, 100%, everything. Mm -hmm. Love. Up next we have a lot of glitter. Okay, this sucks that she was right after Riri because they have the same concept and this one is less. Like the bootleg version or like low budget. Yeah. I will say though. I like her hair. I like this look. I, when she was wearing it, I feel like it would be something like, if I, cause you know, all Lana can do is stone. She don't know how to sew, so. I would probably do something like this, and I don't know if I would get away with it, but she didn't get away with it. People were reading her, so I feel bad because I think she did Prima Donna Girl. This is so Marina in the Diamond. The look was there. The only thing that was wrong with it was the performance was underwhelming compared to others because she looked polished to me. The wig is pretty, the mug is cute, and the dress is like, like she stoned it herself and it doesn't look like Super art and like handmade, you know. It looks like there's she followed a pattern. It looks good to me. So I think ah. she looks stunning. Compared to Riri, though, that's, it would what, be that's what I think her downfall was. I that's think what it I'm was saying. that they had the same look. When you look at one, and you look at the other. You're like, no. yeah, that was she's Polly Pocket and Riri's Barbie. Yeah, 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 very that. Very that. But I still think. But she Polly looks Pocket stunned. still sold. So well, I mean, <laughs> kind of. Um. It's a bootleg for me. I'm not into it. I like the neck up. I've always loved her face. I like her mug and the hair is cute. I'm not into the rest. Okay, very fair. Our next contestant is Kissy Lee, our balloon queen, and she's in balloons again. But the wig is not balloons this week, which I think is pretty cool that she did that. I, and in the photo we have, you don't see it, but she had like a, a huge scarf, like a shoulder thing, and it was made out of balloons as well. And they were glittery. Her look is balloons again, but it's still stunning to me because um, it's a different look, it's a different shape. It's stunning. Okay, for me, performance was cute. Uh, Kissy is adorable when she performs. I uh, told my boyfriend the other day she's like an animation sometimes. She's very cutesy, very like small with her moves. It's adorable. But I've, I'm gonna be the bad girl here for two seconds and pretend I'm Fifi and be like, do we just let Aly Alyssa just do what she wants because she's Alyssa? Do we really let her keep doing balloons just because she does balloons? It's not giving me glitz and glam at all. It's cute. It's not an ugly look, but glitz and glam, come on, girl. For real. I feel you, okay? I mean, she's, that's it. She's letting it have it. I feel like she made it look glitz and glam, though, with balloons. Ish. It, okay. Ish. Okay, so it's, it's, it's a bootleg for me. Oh, okay. 
Ooh, yay, Nora Minted. I'm not biased at all, I promise. Um, this is stunning. I'm gonna go first. This is stunning. That headpiece is the first thing I go to from the neck up. You cannot tell me that's not stunning. Look at that necklace. I know, but Kissy's necklace is stunning too. I didn't see a necklace. I saw balloons. I um, just feel like balloons and aluminum are very much the same thing. You know. Really? They could, you know that, I mean, I think this isn't just crediting Nora's look because I mean, it's still, it's stunning to me, but just compared to what you were saying to well. But anyway. <laughs> but this still gives me glitz and glam. Look at these jewels, like these earrings. Can we have a side by side of the photos, please? <laughs> Look, she's got a jeweled necklace, jeweled earrings, jeweled bracelets, rings, the whole nine yard hair pieces. Okay, honestly, I didn't see the necklace uh, on her. I was distracted by all of them. The necklace is cute. It's still a bootleg. I don't know why you're trying to change my mind. Um, Nora, I think it looks good too. Very on brand. It wouldn't be Nora if there wasn't something different, exciting, or artistic going on, and I think she did that with the wig, mm -hmm. being a little, because when I saw it, I said, what the hell is that? Like, I was shook. I did not know. Same. Then I got closer, and I'm like, wow, like, that's really cool. No, she did really good, so stunning. Yeah, stunning. Wonderful. Our next contestant is Victor Sean, and I think he looks really good again. I will say... Like, with there being so many, like, male illusionists, mm -hmm. I feel like it's, like, there's only so much you can do, so. And same with, like, uh, Riri and Alada. Him and um, Alex, they both had that same jacket. Right. And so then, obviously, we have to compare, and I just feel like Victor looks better. Like, Overall, yeah, very Overall. much so. If you're, let's not compare. I'm not gonna compare. She can do that. Um. on. <laughs> No, Victor looks stunning. This is great. I love all of this. Like, Victor is probably, like, one of the most charismatic performers I've ever seen in my life. He is everything. Um, I'm gonna read you for two seconds, because I just complimented you, Hellas, and just say, like, I want you to go a little further with your outfits. Just a little bit. Yeah, I do think it's, like, I always feel like the top part's really good, and then the bottom part is always just, like... You know, kind of, like, second thought, just a little bit. Second thought. Mm-hmm. I want to see him do like a, something like kind of a little bit crazier, but I mean it's I only week it. two. You know what I mean? Right. They're very. It's always like a jacket, a button up, slack. You know what I mean? Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A jacket, a button up, this. So I just I'm really excited to see what you do. I'm not gonna clock She's it saying now. She wants to see the bulge. So. Of course. Bring it out. Yes, girl. The audience would love that. So um, <laughs> this look is stunning too for me. Um, I love everything that he's been doing so far. Lit. Who's next? We have our next contestant, Miss Araj, darling. I will say Araj looks so good this night. This very seemed like Araj's aesthetic, something. I, I want to see more of these looks. The paint is pretty. The blonde wig looked great. I love it. The only thing I will clock is it looks like she's just wearing like black leggings. They look a lot darker in this picture than they are in I just, like real life. Because she's not like that dark. But she does need like lighter tights. Yeah, that's agree. the only thing yeah, I yeah, would yeah. say is that it looks like leggings. But bitch, this outfit is cute. The number was cute. I'm very proud. It's very stunning. Of course I'm going to give it a stunning. I made this shit. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to read myself for two seconds and just talk about like, you know, the many construction details that I should probably be a little better at. But, I mean, other than those, I wish you could see the shoes because we stoned our asses on the opposite side that's not shown in these pictures. But they're cute. Just know that. Yes. So, stunning. Our next contestant is Versa. So, I think she looked really good. I will say her walk around was better than her her performing look. You think? That, yeah, she was wearing Eddie Couture no, yeah, no, I with saw the blue, it. with the feathers. It's prettier than this. This looks so more expensive, though. This does look it expensive. It looks so expensive. It does look expensive, but I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the shoes I don't like. I don't know. Something about it doesn't look that expensive on the photo, maybe. It could be the shoes, maybe. I, I think the know. shoes it are maybe toning shoe. it down or something. I don't know. It's still stunning. This is still obviously a bitch. I know it was expensive. Hello, but yeah, um, she it's done. Very stunning. I yeah, like it. she gets a stun. Next up, we have Boy Boy. I'll go first. This is a bootleg for me. <laughs> um, I don't like it, and that's that's a lot coming from me because I like weirdos and I like different kinds of drag. But this look, just the Leo in itself, makes you look so big. 
and I saw you getting ready and you're not like as bulky as that makes you look. Um, I like the glove things. Those are cute. And then the helmet. I like the little helmets and the paint is cute. It's just this bodysuit thing. Mm -mm, it's not worth it. Yeah, the look is cute, but for the challenge, I it's it's a it's bootleg to me. Because compared to other people who really showed out, this to me just looks like a sequin bodysuit. And these shoes are not glitz and glam. These are very astronaut-y. It throws it off. If you were in like maybe a pump or even you could still do the platforms, but maybe like sparkly platforms. Like these look like moon shoes to me. Yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. But your mug is right and correct. I like the hair piece you did. Mm -hmm. It just, compared to others, it is a little underwhelming. I, but I'm excited to see what you can do. I know you'll turn something good. So it's a bootleg for me, honey. Up next, we have Tracy Bell. I think it looks really good, the outfit. Um, it's giving me Alyssa Edwards, Tatiana mashed together, <laughs> for sure. Like half silver, half black. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the, the mug looks good. The hair, it looks, I don't, but she looks good. I've never, this is something I haven't seen her wear before. So I think Tracy looks stunning. Wear your nails, girl. Hello? We know you got that big bag of nails, girl. I'm wearing one of them. Because <laughs> I got a broken nail. Um, no, I'm really into this. The mug looks right. Uh, the outfit is cute. It's something that Jahari would definitely wear. I will be borrowing it's it for a dance number. Hello? She'll wear it, girl. Hello. Um, <laughs> it's cute, though. I'm very into it. Um, I do wish it was a little more. Me too. But I guess, you know, if it's a challenge, it's cute. I'm not mad at it. It's stunning. That. So it's, it's done. We have our next contestant, Miss Candace Marie. She was the winner of this week's challenge. This, how to tear away. The photo we have is like um, what was underneath the tear away. So when I first saw her before the tear away, I was like, oh, this is cute. Eh. But bitch, when the tear away came, she came, she slayed, she conquered. Yeah. I think she nailed the challenge. I think glitz and glam is definitely her aesthetic anyway. Like, or that's like, the, that's something she would should be excelling at. So. I wasn't surprised by the win, and I think it was well-deserved, too. So the look is definitely stunning to me. Yeah, no, I have no reads whatsoever. The look is everything. And this complimented her body so well. Yeah, her body looks good. Like, nice with the and peplum, she the actually looked out. like, she looked, there was, like, really good shape going on, and I, I like that. So right, do she, more of that, girl. Showed Proud. a lot of legs. Nothing new there, but, you know, I'm into it. I loved every, she got naked. every point of it. Nothing's Hello. new there. <laughs> but love it, girl. Yeah, okay. stunning. 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 Our most stunning of the week is Riri Sanchez. Girl, you killed it this week. Yeah. I think you were giving body. It was it was a fun way of doing glitz and glam, like a toddler and child. Yeah, it was everything. I was so into that. I loved it a lot. It was really, really good. Great job, bro. Great job. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in once again to Widow's Wardrobe. Wine, Wine back. back. Ah! Uh. Yeah, so make sure to come back for next week's episode. Next week's episode is going to be Night of a Thousand Widows. So there's a twist this, this season for um, Impersonation Week. We are doing all widow impersonations, recreations, inspirations, looks of the queen herself. It's going to be super fun, and I can't wait to see what the contestants do. Right? Are you going to dress up in a widow look? For I'm, next week? Yeah. yeah. yeah so next week, we'll be here look, serving our widow. Yeah, it's a thousand <laughs> nights. This is going to be great. Girl, if I could sit in a split and film this whole thing, I would, be. Gross. No, I would never. <laughs> but anyway... Make sure you are subscribed to Mystical Dreams Productions down below somewhere so you can be, and hit the bell too, so you can be notified with a new episode every week. And uh, yeah, make sure you follow Drag Survivor KC too on Instagram as well. And as always, I am Jaharia Vondu. You can find me on Instagram at underscore Jaharia underscore. And I am Lana Lux. You can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook all at Landon Patterson the person who lies beneath the <laughs> But yeah, see you guys next time.